Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Golden Sun. And when last we left off, the Thieves of Vault have been dealt with, and also Ivan has left the party. He's gone off to Lumber to go and try and free Master Hammett, which I imagine is going to go very, very badly wrong indeed. And also, if we move into any area that's not um, this area and back, the person that was stood here is going to be back here, so we can't go back into that area anymore. Are you the ones who catch up the thieves? Indeed we are. I just wish more young people had your sense of honour. Well thank you, that's very nice to hear. And also, because Ivan's not with us anymore, we can't read minds at the moment. So we're just going to talk to everyone normally. Hello! When you stray from your worldly path, fate will guide you on your course. I suppose it might. How are you? It was the hand of fate that returned the gold statue to our sanctum. But I thought that was us. No, it definitely was the Hand of Fate. Are you called the Hand of Fate? No, I'm called Garrett. Then it wasn't you. Well, fair enough. Let's go, shall we? And talk to the people round here. Hello. Everyone's very grateful that you captured the thieves. No problem. Ivor didn't go to Lumper all alone, did he? Yes, indeed, he did. And that is a very silly thing to do. Thank you for the other day. Are you leaving town already? It wasn't the other day, by the way. It was about five minutes ago. I'll be praying for your safety. No problem. We're going to go into the inn now and talk to the people there. Hello, how are you? They hid all those stolen goods in our loft? Well, at least we nabbed the thieves and the town's peaceful again. I think you'll find that we nabbed the thieves and you didn't do anything. But fair enough. I'm shocked. Those guests of ours turned out to be the thieves? They did indeed, and you weren't really about to start questioning them, were you? Hello, how are you? I have a lot of leftover bones from dinner. Here, do you want some? Sure, why not? Really? Take as many as you want. And now we have a bone. This bone is actually rather important because we're going to be using it to uh, get that dog to move at some point. Hello. The eruption devastated roads throughout Angara, but the southern bridge is repaired. You can head toward Calais. Pretty much until then, you're going to be railroaded to other locations because you can't access Calais yet. The enemies are far too dangerous. Fair enough. Smoke is still rising from Mount Aleph. I think it might erupt again. We need to be very careful of that. So, you're hitting the road again? Yes, indeed we are. Well, you'll always be welcome here in Vault. Thank you very much. We're going to go in here now and talk to the people that are inside, like you. Do those thieves come from Lumper? I don't know. I'd say no. The Lumpens were noble thieves under the rule of Lumper's son, Domper. It's all to Domper's fault that they turned bad. I'm pretty sure that they were thieves either way, and so they were pretty bad to begin with. My father's so worried about those prisoners from Lumper. Oh, they are from Lumper. You'll protect us if the Domper and its men come to attack us, right? Uh, about that, we're about to leave. They were indeed, apparently, from uh, Lumper. Let's try that again. They were indeed from Lumper. Yes, they were. The town's master is the Domper, the grandson of Lumper himself. He's an awful man, and capturing his thieves can only mean trouble. Indeed, it can only mean trouble, but likely not for us. Let's go in here and have a word with everybody that uh, will now be relieved that the thieves are gone. With the bridge out, it will be quite a while till we can go to Calais again. Indeed it will be. Hello, how are you? The thieves hid the stolen treasure in the hotel's loft, and they hid other stolen goods in the cemetery. In the cemetery? Hmm. Just as I thought, nothing was stolen from our house. Nothing at all. Not even slightly, not even a single gold coin. Maybe a smoke bomb though, but let's just pretend that you never have that to begin with. If you're gonna head into the cave in Goma Range, you should be prepared. Indeed we will be prepared. We're going to go and get quite a few things. We found our stolen weapons in the cemetery, but they were all rusted. We have to sharpen them before we can sell them to anyone. Which means they still won't be selling anything any good. However, we can get some nice items here. That one is better. It is uh, 200 um, coins, which is not bad. That is also 200 coins. It is uh, 47, I think. And that is... Uh, that is 37. So I think this one is quite a bit better. We're going to be giving this one to Garrett, most certainly. And there you go. 
Would you like to equip it now, Garrett? You look bolder already, and it doesn't matter what you equip, you will always look bolder to me. How about 90 coins for that old short sword of yours? Indeed. Alright, I'll buy it. Here are your coins. Let me give you this game ticket as a token of my gratitude. Ah, so who gets the game ticket? You do! And here you go. What do you use the game ticket for? I don't remember. But either way, I'm sure we'll be uh, using it at some point. I think I talked to you already, did I? It's great when you caught those thieves. It is indeed. Let's go over here and, ooh, let's go in there first, in the prison that we didn't go into before. Hello you, how are you? If only we'd escaped to the cave northeast of Goma Range. Indeed, if only. Let's go talk to you now. Hello. Last. I knew we should have skipped town sooner, but you didn't. And hello, you. Shut your yaps. They got us this time, but next time. Oh, they'll pay for this. I'm sure they will. But you're never going to escape, are you? <laughs> you're probably going to escape. Most likely. Because you said you'd be back, you most likely will be back. Ruff, ruff. Ah, we can get you to move, but right now we're not going to do that. Hello? Those men you captured, they're in jail now? Yes, they are. It's been a long time since we had to use our prism. A long time indeed, but still you had to use it indeed. And now we're going to go up here and talk to you, and then we might go and talk to the mayor, because after all we were told to. Master Hammett, the wealthy merchant, I hear he never reached Calais. Indeed, he did not. He kind of got kidnapped. For some reason, everyone knows he got kidnapped, even though nobody could probably see it. Most likely, anyway. But then again, maybe the mayor had that really powerful uh, telescope. You never know, he just might. Then again, as well, Isaac could see a long distance away. A very long distance away when they were on the world map. Perhaps everyone can. You're the person who got back our urn, aren't you? Yes, indeed. We are. Thank you so much. No problem. Let's talk to you, shall we? I heard you defeated those thieves. Yes, we did. I suppose you really can't judge people by their looks. What do you mean by that? Are you implying that secretly you didn't think we were any good? Ivan learned a lot by talking with animals. Did he really? I'm not so sure he did. You are such a great help, Isaac. No problem. Allow us to show you our gratitude like we promised. He gets an item for us. Isaac got some Water of Life. That is a really good item. Are you heading out beyond Goma Range by any chance? Yes, we are. Look for a cave in the mountains of the Goma Range northeast of us. Once you've passed it, you'll reach Billibin. Thank you very much for the advice. I'm sure that is actually going to be very useful indeed. Also, we want to go and hand a bone over to that dog, because there is something very important that the dog will be able to show us, that we may not be able to do anything with right now. Let's go and use that bone, shall we? A bone from the girl at the inn. Let's, uh, give it away. No, no, let's use it. There we go. Isaac uses bone. And the dog jumps over here, which doesn't actually mean anything to us right now because we can't actually see what the significance is, but we will be able to eventually. So for now, we're going to move over here and head out into the world at large. The Jin we're going to have to come back for, I'm afraid. All right, we want to go this way, I think, over to this um, area, and then north. Also, we're going to find some uh, more enemies to fight, but they're going to be... Probably should have rested. I think going back to rest might be a very good idea. Also, these weapons are really good. Garrett is going to hit really, really hard. 21 damage is quite good. Also, will the uh, note the unleashed did not happen there? It can happen occasionally, and it is a really good one, I think, the first one you get. We could head north over to Lumpa, it really isn't a good idea. We're not really going to be able to gain anything by doing so. You can grind quite a lot in this game. There's really not a huge amount of point right now. We're actually going to head back to town and uh, rest up. It's probably a good idea. And there is a rumble. Doesn't really do that much, especially considering the fact that using the yin is a full heal. There we go. That was a critical hit and a really good one too. 
Also, those two fights will most certainly pay for the uh, inn, but we could just hang around and try and find another one. Hello! There is an encounter. Two slimes, and unfortunately they attack first, which is absolutely fine, really. The earthquake ability we got is really not that much better than um, the uh, quake one we have. The main advantage of it is that it does um, it deals damage to five enemies, which is really good. And if you uh, find five enemies, you'll want to be able to clear them as quickly as possible. There are some very big encounters later. There we go, just a uh, few more hits here. There we go. And that has paid for our stay at the inn. All right, and we're back. We really weren't gone that much. And now we're going to go and rest. There we go. Will it, ah, eight coins. That's not bad at all. Eight coins is absolutely fine. In fact, I think we made a very, very small profit. There we go. It's good to wake up nice and early to go adventuring out into the world at large. Also, we didn't actually look at what the uh, person selling like uh, potions actually has. Let's have a look, shall we? You have quite a few things. You have herbs and you have antidotes. I think we'll actually buy a few herbs because they can't hurt. There we go. Uh, we could buy a lot. We could actually buy uh, 13, but I think if we buy three, we should be good. Okay, here you go. Is there anything else? No, actually, poison might be a good thing to uh, have a few things for. So we'll buy a couple of antidotes. Just two. There we go, and we're good to go. It's always nice to have items that you can use just in case. Hey, maybe I might actually remember to use them. I'll never remember to use them, will I? I rarely ever do. All right, up here we go. And I don't actually think we want to go up this uh, northern one just yet. I think we actually want to move further along. And the zombie's really not going to hurt that much. There's not much reason to uh, use synergy here. There we go. Garrett is now a level 4 guard and has mastered the guard's fire. It is a pretty good um, synergy if memory serves. Do I want to go that way? Or do no, I don't want to go that way. Why is that there? I've no idea. We could go that way, but I don't think there's really much need. I think we want to keep going. Hello there, how are you? You are going to perish, because right now we really don't need to use much more than the occasional, uh... Ooh, you're defending. That is an odd choice, because you're going to die anyway, I imagine. No, you did not die, but defending really isn't going to save you, because you're not actually hurting us. At all. Go. Just want to uh, make sure I equip that item. I did not. I did not equip the bandit sword. That was silly. The bandit sword is a really, really good item. It's better than the um, sword that Isaac has. And also, it does have the chance to unleash something called the rapid smash. Uh, I was uh, mentioning before that um, we weren't getting any unleashes. That's because I never equipped the weapon. It is also a light blade. The distinction is actually very important because it being a light blade, that means that people like Ivan can equip it. Also, we want to go into the Goma Cave entrance here. There we go. It's a pretty easy place to get to. We can uh, move that along there and uh, gain access. Sometimes there won't be a um, dotted area that indicates where you can push something. You just need to use your common sense in that instance. And uh, we could actually move this one as well. And I don't know why I'm doing that, but I can just do this. There we go. Now we can go that way. But right now, we might as well... Ah! We probably can't move that one, however. But we're going to try either way. The worst thing that can happen is that we'll fail, right? Let's give it a go. Move, Synergy! It doesn't work because of all that undergrowth. That is not good at all. Oh dear. It's no use. Our Synergy isn't strong enough to free that stuff. Indeed it isn't. Hello, character that we definitely are going to see again, because you're right here. You want to move that stump, right? Hello! I'd be surprised too. It looks like it's trapped in the ivy. It is indeed. Perhaps you have a very specific synergy that can help. And you do. Isn't there anything we can do? There is most certainly, Ivan, and you know that. Or do you? Maybe you don't. Oh, he does now. I know. I have a great idea. Leave it to me. You didn't need to say that, Ivan. You literally could have just done it. 
Here's a tutorial on what Whirlwind can do. It can move things away. Like that. Alright, Ivan! I did it. Yes, you did. But what are you doing here? It's a good question. Thanks for the help, but why are you here, Ivan? Good question. I couldn't get into Lumper. No surprise there. I'm a little surprised that you weren't captured. Don't get me wrong, I didn't come here to ask for your help. Didn't you? Your quest has been on my mind ever since I left Vault. Not surprised about that. Remember? I read everything that happened in your mind. Including this thing that happened three years ago. Do you remember? Oh wait, you probably don't. I should probably not mention that. I couldn't just leave. Not with all these terrible things happening. If I can't rescue Master Hammond, then I want to help you. Good plan! Please, allow me to join your quest. And by the way, that's really not an option. Not really. Ivan joined your party. Brilliant! Are you trying to get to Billabin through this cave? Yes, we are! Then let's go. Indeed, let us go. Now we can actually move this, which is very good. There we go. And down it falls. There's actually something significant about the fact that that fell to there. I don't know if it's the case here, but I'm pretty sure that um, in other situations there is something you can... Uh, nothing you can do here right now, but in other situations you can um, go through things like waterfalls. There is also a... Um, as you saw there, there was also that that we went through, which is a little hint that um, things can fall into the water and provide platforms for you. Something to know for another time. Alright, we can't get in here just yet, but we can um, use the Synergy, also we might as well um, set this Synergy again. It's a useful one to have set there. Whirlwind time! Goodbye, Ivy! You shall be banished off screen, never to be seen again, until we move through here again. We're now in Goma Cave. Goma Cave is the first sort of dungeon of the game beyond the uh, Soul Sanctum. There is a lot to see here. There are also some nastier enemies. These skeletons and ghosts are pretty nasty. Fortunately, we get to attack first, so we're going to be using a lot of synergy here, including the fire spell here, which is really, really good. I think a whirlwind might be good here. There we go! That is a lot of damage. Not bad. Quake is also going to do a fair bit of damage. You'll also notice that the uh, hit point bar disappeared while that was going on, the uh, synergy there. And fire! We've seen that one before, although they won't remember it. And they are gone! Never to be seen again! Also, the amount of gold and experience we got there was quite substantial. There are things we want to do here. We don't want to leave here until we find a couple of uh, items of particular value. Also, there is a skeleton here, and that skeleton is not going to be a problem. One attack there. Aha! Rapid Smash. It's a really good ability, actually. And there we go. Let's uh, just have a few attacks here. One there. One there. And the skeleton is gone. Which is quite good. And there is something we can move, but I don't think we can move it from here. Let's have a look. No, we can't actually move it from here. We'll have to be uh, up on that uh, elevated position to do so. Looking around is actually quite a good idea, because you can always come back here later and uh, do things like uh, recharge your synergy at the inn or anything else, or you can just walk around and eventually recharge it. There are items that will prevent uh, encounters from happening, which aren't, which aren't too bad to have. I think they're pretty expensive though. Also, Garrett using Synergy is usually not a good idea because his default setup has him uh, having very little of it. There we go. We can move down here though. And down here, I think, yep, is a way down. And this way doesn't lead out, I don't think. It leads to down a bit here though. There are more zombies though. More zombies are always bad. And I think some attacks won't go uh, amiss here. And another rain. Because Ivan has a lot of synergy. He doesn't, however, have a lot of health compared to the other two. There is a position for a fourth person in the party. We have not met that person yet, but we most certainly will. There we 
go, we want that there, that there, and I think that there. There we go, one's been defeated, and the other one is now gone. Not bad at all. And when we come back, folks, we're going to continue to explore Goma Cave. Because Goma Cave has two things in particular that we really want. One of them is a Jin, but we haven't yet found where that Jin is. But we will, eventually. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then.